Just mess around in the shop tonight. I was going to take this old timing belt and turn it into a strap wrench. Let's do it. So these are the pieces we're going to use. Just an old timing belt. This timing belt I took out at about 70,000 miles. I'm never going to put it back in. But it wasn't broken. It's still in good condition. Even if it was broken, I could still do the same thing. Or I could be using just a serpentine belt from a fan on a car. Something to that effect. So i got a couple sockets here. They're going to be part of it. If you don't know what a strap wrench is, it bites around round surfaces so you can hold it steady you know if this was a hydraulic cylinder or something I wanted to take off the gland that or something else and I have some that I've used before this is actually a craftsman um, and this is actually a brand new one I got this back a couple years ago because I broke the original one because the straps they put on these are actually flexible they're not that strong here's a bigger one that I have and it works but every time I use it it leaves me disappointed and it doesn't hold that big of items either this is about as big as round as you can get maybe I could get another two inches and I've had to use bigger but a lot of times it ends up just stretching to the point that it doesn't actually hold you have to be directly in line um, it has its it definitely has its uh, shortcomings a um, couple videos back maybe a year ago I made this and this has been really cool and this has worked out good I made this huge chain wrench vice grip they can really latch down on stuff and this comes in really handy it is chain so it doesn't grip i mean it grips tight tight but it doesn't grip to uh, it'll scratch up the surface it really bites in so strap wrench is nice on automotive pulleys and stuff like that where you don't want it just to uh, gouge it up and stuff like that so we're going to take this and these sockets and go from there so the basic idea is really simple we're going to cut a groove we're going to take our belt we're going to slide it down into that groove and to keep the belt from sliding out of that groove we're just going to take another socket and just jam it down inside this is spark plug socket you want a deep socket that has enough big old hollow space down the middle took out the little spark plug retainer boot so now I'm just going to cut a slit wide enough to uh, hold this If you've never used one of these carbide burrs, they're amazing. I bought a whole set of them a couple years ago, and it's been really worth the money. I mean, it's like a file where the file can't get. These do, and they'll remove material. You can oblong holes. You know, if you drill a hole, you want it oblong. These do it. It gets in the tightest areas. They come in a bunch of different sizes. But you can get up in stuff and round everything out. But I'll put a link below in the description for the, the ones I've got that I really like. Um, this is nice and smooth now because I don't want it to actually rip the belt. So it has to, I don't want any sharp edges. We got this shortened socket piece. And the reason why I didn't just use a regular short socket to begin with is they're a little too short. And a lot of times they have a, um, a fair amount of obstruction in here where the spark plug socket's pretty uh, clean all the way through. And so this slides down inside there. And then this little socket, this little 8 millimeter socket, this is a 13 16 spark plug, will slide inside there and retain it from ever being pulled out. And then it's going to wrap around the outside as you rotate this with your socket, or being a spark plug socket, you can actually put a wrench on it, which is nice. As it rotates around, it'll get down and, and grip on whatever you need. The problem is, is the uh, um, timing belt has these cogs and... I'm actually trying to bend it right now and they lock together. So it's actually a it's actually a stiff it's actually a stiff wall. So I gotta grind off, I'm gonna grind off a couple inches of teeth on each side. So we cut off probably about 10 inches of teeth or so. So now it can slide past itself and it just bends easily. We're out here when before. And now all we do is make sure again that this surface is super smooth or else it'll cut it. We're just going to set it down in there, and we're going to take our little socket, and this is our retainer, and there we go. And I think I'm going to put a, um, a washer just over that and just weld in the middle to the outside. So there we go. It's all sealed up. Just a washer. Just tack welded a couple tacks around the edge. Um, we can actually hook, being a spark plug wrench is nice because we can hook the socket to it. 
or we can hook a, a, a wrench on it and just wind it up. If we want to be directly in line with our pole, like uh, these wrenches generally are where you're directly in line, a regular wrench puts you directly in line with your pole, which is nice. Or you put an extension and we way out from it, taking off, you know, holding on to fans and other things or simple as just a, you know, an oil filter, a huge oil filter or something or an oil filter you don't have a wrench for or something. I know I have a million oil filter wrenches, but I still end up running into random size oil filters on different stuff. But, you know, that really wants to, that wants to bite in there. Good. I mean, it. Those little teeth really put some some bite in on stuff, so that'll come in really handy. This is something you probably normally use it on is like this. I got it hooked on the harmonic balancer, and we can rotate the engine, or you can hold the engine still while you remove the bolt or something else like that, or you'd connect it up here on the fan and remove your fan clutch or something else like that, and it seems to work pretty good for that little cumbersome winding it up but not bad not bad at all that was a fun little project welding not required just kind of helped finish it off but just a pretty much just a grinder and this could be done turn junk junk items into something useful i love homemade tools i love making tools that make my life easier i love hearing about your guys's homemade tools so if you guys have made something i'd love to hear leave me a comment below i'd love to you know, hear about the tool you made for one-off project or whatever, or what has saved you a lot of time with that tool. Um, if you want to watch a bunch of other homemade tool projects, I got a whole slew of them on my channel. I know a lot of my subscribers have already watched a lot of them, but they're enjoyable. Go watch them again. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye.